In just a few weeks, the Omicron variant has had an outsized impact on the youngest Americans. The average number of daily hospitalizations for children in the U.S. has soared nearly 60 percent in the final days of December, compared to about 19 percent for all age groups, raising concerns about how those under 18 and unvaccinated will fare in the new surge. Dr. James Schneider is chief of pediatric critical care at New York's Cohen Children's Medical Center. We're seeing record numbers of admissions of all children of all ages from newborns all the way through 21 years of age in, in hospitals and in ICUs with Omicron. Um, not to say that it's more uh, severe, but it's, uh, my, my experience so far is that it's not less severe, at least in kids. It's just that it's much more contagious. Even in New York City, which has some of the highest vaccination rates in the U.S., only around 40 percent of 5 to 17-year-olds are fully vaccinated, compared with more than 80 percent of adults, city health data shows. There is no authorized vaccine for U.S. children under the age of 5. But the New York Times on Thursday reported that the U.S. Food and Drug Administration is planning to make Pfizer's booster shot available to 12 to 15-year-olds and to those aged 5 to 11 with immune deficiencies. New York City's public schools are set to reopen January 3rd after a holiday break, but the city's health commissioner on Thursday said a decision on a school vaccine mandate is months away. The city will set a deadline of this spring for a decision about a vaccine mandate in schools to commence later in 2022. Other parts of the country are also seeing a spike in hospitalizations among children. Ohio has seen a 125 percent increase among children under 18 in the past four weeks, according to the Ohio Hospital Association, while the seven-day average in Florida, New Jersey, and Illinois has at least doubled over the past week, CDC data shows. Fewer than 15 percent of U.S. children aged 5 to 11 have been fully vaccinated since Pfizer's shot was authorized for that age group in late October.